before this video starts, I just want to say that I have coded a Discord bot. Um, the link will be in the description, so please add it to your servers. Um, that would be very helpful. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. In this video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at buttons. So this is pretty much like a button guide for Discord.js version 14. So yeah, let's go ahead and actually get started. So if you don't know what a button is, I think I have an example in here. Uh, somewhere around here, yeah. So... If you click the button, it can do an action, right? Obviously, I have my bot offline, so nothing's going to happen. Um, but if you click it, it can do an action. So, like, uh, banning somebody, deleting messages, editing the message, um, adding rules. You could make this into a reaction role for your server. There's so many different things you can do here. So, let's go ahead and actually just take a look at how you do them. So, we're just going to start by making a command. Uh, we can call this button. Alright, so we're going to start by making a few variables here, or just defining a few things. So we can do const action row builder, button builder, button style, and then we can do equals require discord, uh, discord .js, put a semicolon here. We can go down here and actually make the button, so we can do const uh, button equals new action row builder. So like that. Um, so then we can add components uh, just like this. And then in here, we're going to say new button builder, uh, new button builder, just like this. We can do set custom ID and we can just say button. Then we can say set label. And then this is going to be what you want the text to say. So we'll say click this button but if you're doing reaction roles you could say like react for this role or whatever it is um in there and then we can set a style now there's a few different styles but i'm just gonna do the normal one so we can do button style dot primary uh just like that and we can add a comma here and a semicolon here we can go down here and we can go ahead and make a few embeds um so we can do const embed equals new embed builder i'm going to set a color blue set description and in here whatever you want it to say and say message dot author dot tag i don't know something like this button then we can go down here and we can make one more embed const embed two for me this is going to be like if you click the button it will go to the next page um but if you know this is up up to you pretty much so yeah so we can do embed builder i'll explain a little bit more after i do this but yeah color blue set description the button was pressed all right so now we're going to go ahead and create a message um that we want the button to be on so we can do message dot channel dot send embeds embed and then we can do components and then we can do our variable that we set up here so button we can put a semicolon here we can do const collector equals message dot channel dot create message component collector then we can do uh, we can put a semicolon here and we can go down here and we can turn the collector on uh, just like this collect and we can do async async i arrow function open this up and we can say await i dot update and then we can say and here we can say embeds embeds embed two um i think that's what i did yeah embed two and we can do components in here we can just put our button if you have multiple buttons you can put a different one in there i'm going to explain this a little bit better here but first we're going to restart the bot and turn this on um and then i'll be able to explain it a little bit better all right so i did make a slight error here as you can see i completely messed this up so i'm going to delete this and put a bracket in there we'll delete this one comma components and then we can do button so that's what it should look like. So we can actually restart the bot this time and test it. All right. So now that we have the button online, it or the bot online, it should be working. We can run our command, click the button, and as you can see, it will say the button has been pressed. I spelled it wrong, but so I can go ahead and explain this a little bit more. So in here is where you're gonna want to put what you want the button to do. So 
if you wanted to give a rule, if you wanted to ban somebody, if you wanted to, you know, do whatever, um, you could do that. If you don't want there to be a button on this message at all, as in like just send an embed, all you have to do is remove this. I just restarted the bot. If we do button um, and we click it again, as you can see, there's no button because um, I removed that from here. So let's say you wanted to send send a DM. We can do const um, m equals message dot author, and we can do m dot send. We can just say hello, sir. All right, then we could go ahead and update the button. We can say. Um, I sent the message. All right, so now let's restart the bot and I'll show you what I mean by this. All right, so if we run our command, it's going to send the usual message here. We click the button. We'll say, I sent the message. And as you can see, I get a message uh, from the bot. Again, you don't need to have these embeds. You can just put in a message. If you wanted to put in a message instead of an embed, I'll show you what that would look like. We can do content and then we can just put the content in here. So it would look like that. We could try it again without the embed and it will just say hi, right? If we click it, it will go to the embed. If you need any help with this, join the help server in the description below and we'll be here to help you. Um, other than that, um, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.